Hello mates, I hope you're all doing well. Oh man, I sound rough today. So I'm currently recovering from a cold, in case you can't tell. <clears throat> so that's why I sound this sexy, even sexier than usual, I know. So today I'm gonna to be doing something that I have done once before and I'm gonna be reading out some more mean comments. These are mostly comments that have been left on my YouTube page, but I think a couple of them are maybe from my TikTok page as well. Go and follow me on all of those platforms. As you know, I'm bloody great. So as I said in my last one of these, I do genuinely quite like watching videos of people reading their mean comments and I had way more fun than I probably Probably should have when I filmed my last one of these. You gotta laugh at these things and if I can share that laugh with you guys, well, that's a huge bonus for me. At the end of the day, social media is not real life. There's no point getting upset at these kind of comments. Instead, let's just all collectively have a giggle, all right, mates? So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first comment. So I think this one is from my, um, it's from one of my shorts. It's about, uh, it's my red flag tattoos one video, which I talk about um, <clears throat> how I don't really like um, biomechanical tattoos. I may have called them dweeby. It wasn't my finest moment. And this is in reply to that. So, I mean, it could be interpretive, not just cut and dry mechanic, but saying it's dweeby while having tattoos of knives and birds, which is basic as fuck. What do you do? Are you a butcher? Do you work in a zoo? Fucking loser, cry face. <laughs> right, straight up here, I said some mean things about biomechanical tattoos. Somebody has then replied some mean things about me, which is fair enough, okay? You're gonna put negativity out on the internet, you are gonna get negativity back. That is something you do have to accept. And to be fair, this guy isn't necessarily wrong. I do have tattoos of knives and birds, which I guess is kind of basic. To call me a fucking loser though, <laughs> <laughs> and now nah, you're entitled to your opinion mate whatevs no hard feelings you're a fucking loser <laughs> all right next one so this is in reply to my i've got traditional tattoos of course i blah 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 i don't have traditional tattoos of course i'm better than your dumb ass <sighs> Um, I think actually you'll find that me having traditional tattoos makes me better than you. I mean, for a start, look at me. You're a dumbass. You also spelled dumbass wrong, you dumbass. Okay, next one. Just don't do six hour tattoos, you wanker. I think this is off the back of me moaning about people who only had done like a 10 minute tattoo saying that tattoos didn't hurt. And I said something like, wait till you've done like a six hour tattoo and then try and say tattoos don't hurt. And this person has made Probably a decent point of just don't do six hour tattoos. But to call me a wanker, what is this world coming to? I mean, to call me a tax paying, upstanding gentleman a wanker, it's just uncalled for. I fucking love the word wanker. I fucking love being British. I don't think any other culture can say it. Like you have to be from the UK to say wanker. And it's just, it's the best insult. It's up there with the C word for me. All right, next. Who the fuck asked you for your opinion, lad? Whew, you're the most cringe thing I've ever set eyes on. You look like Mr. Beast got stuck on his gap here. And truly your tats are good, but they absolutely don't suit you. You fucking posh elitist noodle. Shut your mouth. Sincerely, any tattooist, tattooed, untattooed person. Now, I do think it'd be easy for me to attack this person's grammar here, but it might lead into that kind of whole narrative that you spout in that I'm elitist and posh, and I am not. I am from Essex in England, mate. I fucking talk like this. The last thing I am is posh or elitist. Ooh, that's some good too. Who the fuck asked my opinion? Who the fuck told you to click on my fucking video where I state my fucking opinions, you dickhead? To unpack this comment though a little bit, I'm fully aware that I'm pretty cringe, but I absolutely fucking adore that about me. Like Mr. Beast got stuck on his gap year. I get the Mr. Beast thing quite a lot, but to be fair, He's an all right looking bloke, so I'll take that. Shut your mouth sincerely. It's sincerely, dear. Look at this absolute fucking badass though with his fucking skull smoking a cigar. Nobody fuck with that guy. Sincerely, Ali fucking black, mate. The thing that really hurt about this is the fact that he called me posh and elitist. I am literally from Essex in England, mate. I am the furthest thing that you can possibly get from fucking posh and elitist. I'll put up 
fucking pictures of my hometown right now and you tell me that I grew up fucking posh and elitist. Hopefully I didn't come across as gotten to there. All right, next one. <clears throat> Bro, I've got tattoos and he's actually correct about you being an expletive remote. Right, so some context I think is probably needed for this next one. So this is on my Your Friends Say Tattoos Don't Hurt video, which was like a sketch comedy that I did about your fucking one friend who says that tattoos don't hurt, but they've got like one tiny little tattoo. And as part of the sketch, I said that people who say that tattoos hurt are pussy holes. Well, actually I said pussy holes. Absolute pussy hole. Okay, so the comment is, bro, I've got tattoos and he's actually correct about you being an expletive removed. The expletive is pussy hole for saying that they hurt so bad because they really don't. And if that's the sort of thing you consider to be intense pain, then odds are you really aren't hard enough in life to be getting tattooed candy ass. In my mind, I read candy ass in The Rock's voice. Your candy ass. The Rock's gonna shine it up real nice, turn it sideways and stick it straight up your candy ass. Right, let's just be clear here, right? When you're getting tattooed, you are literally being stabbed with a whole bunch of needles. If you don't experience pain from that, you need to go to a doctor because you have serious nerve damage, I imagine. Nobody is saying that it's fucking agony, but you definitely experience pain when you get tattooed. And yeah, there's a bunch of different things to consider, like where the tattoo is, what kind of conditions you're in, whether you're oh, too hot or too cold, you haven't had enough sleep, yada, 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 pain threshold and all that. But at the end of the day, tattoos do hurt. Pussy ol. Pussy ol. Candy ass. Candy ass doesn't really work in an English accent. Candy ass. Candy ass. See, nobody wants to hear it in an English accent, do they? All right, next one. This person's gay. I fucking hate that. I really fucking hate that. Like anybody who just says gay like as an insult. Like if you're using gay as an insult, you've definitely got a needle dick. Say no more. All right, so the next one is, nobody cares what tattoos you have, fella. I think this was on a fucking tattoo tour video. Nobody cares what tattoos you have. You've literally clicked on a video that says fucking tattoo tour, you moron. Somebody surely cares what fucking tattoos I have to click on a tattoo tour video. Nobody cares about your candy ass. See, this is what I'm saying, candy ass doesn't work in an English accent. <laughs> right, next one. Just bell end. Again, phenomenal word. Love the word bell end. One of the best things about being English is bell end. You fucking bell end. Love that. And then this next one isn't even mid. It just really made me laugh. Not bad for a video. I love that. Not bad for a video. Now, if I do really think about this one, I think maybe this has come through like a Google Translator or something and they've tried to say not a bad video, maybe. Maybe not. So maybe that's where this comment has come from, but it's still very funny. Not bad for a video. In my mind, I'm really in that voice as well. Not bad for a video, love that. All right, and then last one. Your teeth, bruv. My fucking teeth, mate. Look at these gnashes. This one is kind of ironic because I did complain in my last Reading Me In Comments video that nobody had took the piss out of my teeth. And I was like, it's such an easy shot. So thank you, whoever you are, for finally reaching out to me to say your teeth, bruv. The bruv as well. As a man from Essex in England, and I live in Brighton now, I fucking love bruv. Bruv, nice teeth, bruv. They are nice, right? But you're well jealous. So unfortunately, I've run out of mean comments. So you're gonna have to top me up. Leave some more in the comments below. I look forward to reading them. So that is it. Those are a selection of mean comments that have been left on my pages. Hopefully I'll get some more now and I can do yet another one of these videos over the coming months. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like and hit the subscribe button and all of that other YouTube bollocks. If you like the music that you're hearing in the background, it was actually all produced by me. I've got another channel where I post beats slash instrumentals that I've written for singers to use to write songs to. So if that's something you are interested in, I'll put a link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your meanness. I genuinely, I genuinely fucking love it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.